You want the real answer or the fake answer? The real answer. <laughs> it was during circuit breaker where my wife was pregnant with my second child. Was quite sick of running around to tapau food for her. She wanted to have cheeseburger, so I felt that I could do a version that she might like. Was how it actually started, lah. Hi, my name is Tommy. I'm the founder of MBCB, and this is how I did it. The story that most people would know is that uh, it was during circuit breaker where my wife was pregnant with my second child because she was unvaccinated. She wanted to have cheeseburger, but I was quite sick of running around to tapau food for her. So I felt that I could do a version that she might like. For this whole thing, in fact, even until now, I am still with uh, my insurance company. So uh, my background is uh, I was working in a bank for 10 years. Then after which I moved out to do insurance. When I wanted to do this, it was not for a business per se, it was just to make my life easier. So I think at that point of time, there was no thought about it being a shop or even a home-based business per se. But what really transpired it to become a home-based business was because uh, my wife encouraged me to do it since you know she, she liked it and uh, asked me to let you know, my friends, family try then uh, we did out in public for small batches and see how the response is like. Uh. Yeah. For me, personally, I like burgers that are simple. So there's only a few criteria for me. Uh. So basically, I wanted it, the bread to be of a you know, certain texture. Uh, I want the beef to be you know, uh, of a certain texture, certain flavor. And uh, my real guiding point was actually some things from McDonald's. Lah. So McDonald's cheeseburger. It reminded me of uh, when I was younger, my dad brought me to McDonald's every weekend. And it was the thing that I, I, I was looking forward to. So uh, we will always order the same thing like every weekend. You know, I will order a burger with a milkshake or a burger with a Coke and fries. The difference is that uh, in McDonald's, there are certain ingredients that because it's fast food. Lah, so we cannot really expect uh, everything to be 100% you know, fresh and stuff like that. Lah. So when I was creating this burger that time, uh, I removed the element that I dislike. Uh, it was really purely based on my memories when I was younger than to create this thing. Uh, the the back testing was really, you know, me from the start, I thought, you know, one burger, how, how hard can it be? So I went to buy all the ingredients. Lah. So I went to, I remember I went to NTUC Cold Storage to buy the minced meat, to buy the, the, the four pieces, six pieces kind of hamburger bun. Uh, so that was where it started. Lah. Then uh, through a lot of feedback, lah. I think uh, you know some people say the, the, the bread a bit dry, the patty a bit tough. Then from there, I start to watch YouTube. I learn from Google to see you know what type of cut has what type of texture, you know what kind of uh, fat ratio percentage and things like that. So I'm not a chef. I don't claim to be one. Uh, it just happened to be something at that point because I had time. So I did a bit of research to, to come up with this recipe that I'm currently selling. Yeah. Even when I was doing home base, there was no real intention for me to open a shop. Because at that point of time, uh, it was already late 2021. My wife was due to give birth somewhere around February 2022. So my intention was that, okay, you know, I did try something. Uh, there was uh, public acceptance of it and I'm happy. Lah. So uh, my plan was to you know, stop it after December, wait for my wife to give birth then everything is done. Maybe when my newborn is slightly older, then I think about it, whether I want to continue the home-based business or not. So uh, I made my intention clear to some of my friends and family members. Lah. So they were telling me, hey bro, uh, a bit sayang, lah, you, know, you already do it to this stage. There is some sort of uh, uh, prominence to it. Then I think, you know, if you can, go and open a shop. Lah. So, but we all know in Singapore, to open a shop, not cheap. Lah. And at that point of time, I also had family commitment. So I didn't really want to you know, all in into a shop. Just because you know, I did a home-based business and especially I only had one item on the menu. So the risk factor was very high. Lah. But uh, I, got, I got support from uh, my friends and uh, some, some uh, friends who turned partners to help me do uh, different parts of the business lah, to ensure that it can actually roll out 
So uh, currently in the menu, uh, we have the basic cheeseburger, we have the double cheeseburger, we have a sort of like crispy chicken cheeseburger uh, that uh, resemble a certain taste that most people are familiar with. Lah. So I think that the most important thing is that uh, I want to sell something that is basic, that is good. But of course, I want to allow customers to have the option to add in the, their favorites. Lah. So there are like eggs, lah, onions, bacon, things like that. So of course, uh, we are about to launch our new burgers, right? And uh, expect more uh, local infused flavors into our burgers. Lah. The, the bigger dream is of course to establish the, the brand to be somewhat you know, people can, can relate that is seriously uh, Singaporean local chain burger shop kind of uh, uh, direction that we are trying to go lah. because especially recently there's a lot of import of uh, foreign brands especially for the burger space and things like that and my understanding of food has been that uh, although uh, Singaporean local food has been the nasi lemak, the chicken rice, the prata and all that stuff but uh, I, I, I realized that all these are also you know, imported food you know, pre my time then it became a Singaporean food through, through, through culture, through a, a period of time so while burgers can, are still considered a foreign westernized food but uh, since you know, we, are, we are a mix of culture right so I look forward to the day where burgers based on our creation can be recognized as you know, a Singaporean food as well. Uh, when I started off looking at it from a serious business perspective, I did what most, if not all, entrepreneur businessmen were looking out for. That means from the financial perspective. Like, so I was looking at how fast I can break even, how much money I can make. That, that was during the planning stage. Like. But I figured that you know that should be a goal. But what is your steps to achieve that goal so it really made me thought about what i need to do to achieve this thing because a lot of times people look at the goal then uh, they try to find different way be it you know find cheaper supply find cheaper uh, places find cheaper manpower labor and things like that to achieve that goal right? but for me uh, it's about sustenance so uh, what i really wanted to do was to ensure that you know i can achieve that goal even if it takes me a longer period of time but the, the, the core component of the business, which is the people, the, the, the ingredients, the manpower, the rent, everything can be uh, well taken care of, then you know, I don't have to worry on the aspect. Then you know, it's a matter of time for me to reach that particular goal. It might be a bit cliche, lah, but they always say do something you like or try to solve a problem, right? So for food, I was trying to solve my own problem. I wasn't trying to solve problem in, in, in general, lah, but my problem was that I got very sick of traveling to, to tap out food for my wife. So I was just trying to solve my own problem. But uh, in that journey, I realized that there are a lot of people who have quite similar taste buds like, or similar growing up journey that they can relate to my food like. as much as possible. If anybody wants to you know, start something of their own, uh, just be a bit more thick skin like, and throw your product out in the market and let the market be the judge of whether the product is good or not. Uh, much more so than you know the peers around you lah, because sometimes opinion can be you know discounted. Sometimes opinion can be over premium. So the real the real opinion comes from the market lah. And as per what I tell my team uh, of staff is that you know uh, end day whether we can do well, we cannot do well, we cannot control. The market decide whether we are relevant. In, you know, but. For us, is we do to the best of our abilities. Right? So I think that that is the most important takeaway that you know I have taken, like, or the lessons that I learned.